It's the Star Morning Show. Joe and Tina cannot wait. Tonight, Brian Callen, who's in studio with us right now, is going to be at the Improv in Schaumburg. He's got so a couple, you, so of, you couple of shows. What's that? So are you guys, right? Yeah, we're going to oh, hang yeah, out. Oh, yeah, hey. We're hanging out, dude. I love it. We're love hanging it. out. Right, I've seen, good. you know, he's got a DVD man class that has been out and... I mean, it's great to watch. I know you're working on a new special. Yeah. I'm working on some yeah. new stuff, too. Yeah, I am. I'm excited about it, too. That's going to be it's awesome. Fun. It's fun when, you know, you, you never know if you, because when you do a new special, you have to throw all the old stuff out. And you miss it, because sometimes you can develop a bit of a following, and people are like, you know, do that, or do the old stuff. And It's, it's like, a, like songs. It's like music. Yeah, you go to see is, a band, yeah. and you go to see Adele, you want to hear Rumor Has It. Exactly. She's like, I've been working on this one for nine years, no one's ever heard of it. <laughs> you're, right. like, no, no, want, right. you're like, I want Rumor Has It. They so want the old familiar stuff, yeah. yeah. But what's great is that the challenge is coming up with new stuff. Like and the other day I was in, in D.C. and Joe Rogan happened to have been there shooting his new TV show, so I told him to come by. And it's really fun to watch. Like I, I just He came and surprised everybody and did uh, like 20 minutes, and I got up and you know sort of did the thing. And it was really fun to listen to him cackling in the back. Like I was like, that's my fellow comedian. Yes, I knew if, I was making, if yes. I'm making him laugh, yeah. I'm, I, that's great. I'm, I'm great. You know, I mean, I'm not great, but I'm fine for my special. Like just making somebody like Joe Rogan, who's like my buddy, who's a real comic, cackle in the back. I was like, I'm doing something right. You can appreciate you know what I mean? that part yeah. of it. That's so awesome. it's a good feeling. It was like, all right, I'm, I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm Brian <laughs> Callen is here, Improv Schomburg tonight. Really funny guy to go check out. You know, the other thing is I've seen some of your stand up, not a lot. So obviously yeah. we knew you're going to be on, and I'm watching clips. And thank you, YouTube appreciate it <laughs> and you got your website and everything and so you you really are physical with your comedy too i didn't know how physical you were yeah. and what i mean is i mean you, not only are you funny with your words but some of your movements and everything it just it drives it's almost like a physical punchline. i know yeah. i'm geeking out right now in the comedy part no, of that's it, true. but it just drives the point home of what you're saying it's awesome yeah it's funny man i i think that i just I never think about being funny. I just think about what I really want to do and yeah. who I really want to be. That's kind of what it is. Because as you get to being an adult, it's just you know, life is not that exciting. You got You're not living in the movie you want to be starring in. So you make that <laughs> right. stuff funny. Yes. You make it funny. That's what's great. That's what people love so much is what you know that yeah. everyday thing. And then you take you put your twist, your crazy twist on it. Yeah. And it's it, there's truth at the base of it. Yeah. So that's what makes it so. That's funny. the idea. Awesome. It started with the whole notion of if your life was a movie would you if somebody turned your life into a movie would you want to sit through it and i never oh, forgot boy. that question i was like that's a rough question to ask man yeah so basically my stand-up is the movie i want to be living in versus the movie i am in that's well funny. i like the that's movie funny. i guess well, yeah. <laughs> i like it what would your like it. what would your rating be tina bray oh it no, would, oh, <laughs> oh triple x i'm like triple oh x. let me just tell you oh, we don't play around especially in that onesie well, yeah yeah yes, sorry the she's romper. wearing she's wearing a romper <laughs> it's a romper i know brian yeah. goes it, we, we took a picture we just tweeted it out at star 1055 you'll be able to find <laughs> at brian callen on there uh we also tweeted at the improv down in schaumburg where he's going to be tonight you'll see us hanging out you'll hear you talk about cackling from the back. Tina is going to be laughing so hard at the show, I love man. It. Oh, I love you're going to know way. it's me. Trust me. So we haven't even now. Brian Callen, you might recognize the name. He was in Hangover and then Hangover Two, and he played Samir in yeah, the movie. That's right. And, and I'm saving this because I feel like that's probably the one thing. As you talked about, you know, doing the bits that people want to hear. Yeah. How many people come up to you and they're like, "Hello," and they yeah, want to yeah. do the voice? Exactly. Like constant. Well, bro? you know, the first one when the first one when I played Eddie, he was supposed it's to be great. a guy. He's supposed to be a guy from New York who talks like this. Oh, you guys don't remember Eddie? I got no love for Eddie. What are you doing? You know? <laughs> and I and literally at the table read, we sat down. And you and it did. Was like, it was Bradley Cooper. Everybody's there, and they're all my buddies. I've known him forever. And I go, and I and I knew that they like Bradley knew that character. And I was like, you know, I said to Todd Phillips, I go, what what if he talks like this? You know, what if he's from Israel or he's from Lebanon or something Samir. like that? I, guy, he can be like this. So I literally did. He goes, do that. So in the reading, they went crazy because I was improvising and all doing right. all kinds of now, stuff. Now a couple of things. Things. Yeah. And now the improvis the improving yeah. there that it, yeah. was that allowed on the set because always to, to work so always now, now Todd Phillips if you're not familiar like old school and that that is like the guy to work with in Hollywood oh, like yeah. Todd Phillips yeah. you want part be in of the, the reason movie. is because the guy will let you improvise but he knows awesome. exactly how to I love where it. to go yeah because I mean I added everything I that the for real I was gonna ask you like that whole scene in the wedding chapel oh, like with the girl and come on I did that, uh, she wasn't even in the, the girl wasn't in the in the script I just put. <laughs> Her there, and he loved it. Like the whole thing is, like, I can get oh, you chicks, perfect. I can get you so guns, I can got, get you. Yeah. He loves all that. Oh, that's great. He just man. wanted me to go. He'll just let you go. We had a whole fight. 
you know, that they didn't make the movie. And, 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 you know, it, it was just, we go crazy. And That's when, great, when we man. did Hangover 2, like he, I, I came with a whole bunch of characters. He goes, nah, I want the same character. We'll just put a wig on you. Heck yeah, man. I was like, but what about my, I so can wait. do this character. He's like, nope. You know. Was it the same guy though? Was it the same? It wasn't. It was Samir. Well, it was it, Addy. And the, I guess. It's, it's I guess funny, it was. Though. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it was basically the same man. accent with a different wig. Right. It's fine. So, yeah. so the whole like hello, that whole thing was that, that would, improv no, or was no, that that actually was Todd's idea? Okay. All I right. wish I could take credit. Oh but man, Todd that's said, great. "Do it. It'll be funny." I was like, "It will." He goes, "Yeah." He knows. He just knows. Like yeah. right. hello, that's awesome. No. Like this, hello. And then was, I think what we improvised was Zach kept saying hello. Yeah. And I was like, hello. And he just kept going, hello. Get, and so that was, our, that was our improv. You know? Man, it's so perfect. It's I love to, hearing all this. It's, you know, it's fun to hear that because that's one of the things I really want to know with like a Todd Phillips movie. I mean, mm -hmm. think about the people that he, yeah. he has in the movies. Yeah. And it's people. I mean, you're so quick on your feet. I mean, you know, and you, you did Mad TV and you have this base with comedy and everything. And sometimes when you get out there, it's like, go with that. Right. And for a dude like Todd Phillips, who's made these hit movies to go, you know what? That's it right there. Oh, yeah. That's why people like that are so successful because they can recognize when someone like comes up with a great idea like that. Well, that's that. that's uh, any great director you work with. I just did a, a movie called Ride Along with Kevin Hart and Ice Cube, and and we were doing this scene, um, and, and it was a guy who did Think Like a Man, uh, and, and this Ride Along is this big blockbuster kind of, you know. And I, t Tim's stories let us improvise our face off. When you do a scene with t uh, with uh, Kevin Hart, I couldn't keep a straight face because I didn't know <laughs> what he sure. was going to do. Yeah, you, I didn't know that dude, that dude just go off the script, and you had no idea, but he's always hilarious. And they're always rolling too, uh, right? Like, don't even Always stop. Roll. There's you, no cut. Like, keep going because we kidding? don't even know yeah. what's going to make got, it in got, there. Yeah, if you've got, if you've got Kevin Hart, you're, you're, you roll. So this yeah. one's called Ride Along? Yeah, when, Ride when, along. when is that going to be out? Uh, in January. Know? Okay. With, uh, uh, Lawrence Fishburne as well. Lawrence Fishburne Man. came in one at one point with the scene, and he goes, "This scene doesn't work. You know that, right?" And they were like, "Everybody's like, it doesn't." He goes, no. <laughs> "They're like, oh, <laughs> we <laughs> got it, did." Lawrence goes, Fishburne said it. No, yeah. right. And he goes like this. He goes, "But we're going to fix it." Don't worry about okay, it. Okay, all right. Aww. We I were all like, it. damn. Yeah, yeah. Like, Morpheus. Yeah, he, Morpheus is in the house. <laughs> Literally. The, the black jacket oh, on and yeah. everything, man. Oh, he's, he's, a, he's beautiful, man. <laughs> I, that was a highlight for me, working with that dude. That that's great. A Hall of Famer, man. That's, that's awesome. great. Do you ever look at... Now, Brian Callen's in the studio with us. We're having a blast. Too much fun. He's going to be at the Improv in Schaumburg tonight. You can grab your tickets now. We'll see you out there. Star105.com. Put in the keyword Joe. Or tomorrow night and Sunday, he's going to be there at as well uh too funny but do you ever look back on like imdb or like your wikipedia and look at your resume and go did i really do it like was i in seventh heaven i know my, my father does see? that my yeah. father will call me periodically like, you've been in a lot of stuff i'm yeah. like yeah i've been doing this a long time yeah that's, that's how cool, i pay man. my mortgage bro hey man that's doing right out. doing good having some fun you gonna hang for a little bit more or i'll what, be man? here you want to hang here. i mean well since i drove to a different i know time i know that. i don't <laughs> I don't want you to leave. I mean, I'm going to take a nap. Don't there we about? go.